<laughs> Kohar is alive. Check it out. You seen the title? Inner sampling or sampling the track, resampling the track, whatever you want to call it. It's a beautiful effect. You know, I came up with this kind of working with a young producer, a guy that's under me. Yo, what's up with my guy? Yo, I let you over there in uh, Arkansas right now. Um, and he was just asking me, you know, just like do this, do that. Like, how can I do this? How to do that? So, excuse me, working on a track with him one day. Basically, he was asking me how to do something or how to get this sound that I achieved, and it just kind of made me start stapling it. I love it. Because I really didn't know how to get the sound until I had attempted to do something else, and then it arri I arrived at another situation which allowed me to achieve this type of sound, which to me is double my player for you. And all it's doing is the track is like slowly pitching down or by steps or whatever. But the way we're doing it is, I know it's a lot of wires right here. So let's break this back open. My bad on that. The control out, which I monitor through, is going into here. I'll let you see that, right? So you understand. That's what all these spits is. One's going where? Uh, to the sampler input obvious so i'm taking one part of the track shooting it to the sample taking the other part of it shooting it to one and two which are my monitors now let's flip this back around what do we do after you set that up or you can just have that set up pretty much all the times like what i do because i mean very rarely do i actually sample into a device live unless i'm sampling into a device live right then on the track so i do this a lot you know, because it gives it a, you could choose parts of the track to do it with or whatever. Okay, I use the name of resample track or something like that so I know what it is. So if you see that in some of my sessions and I'll talk about it, that's what it is. It's taking the entire track, sampling it back in, and then filtering it or whatever, you know. Cause sometimes I reverse it like on this one, it's actually reversed. No, it's not the one, the one I did earlier, it's reversed. And so it gives us some atmospheric things. Let's do it one time right quick, all right? This is it right here. Basically, you'll hit record, you know, while the song is playing. So you see, we'll get some audio on there soon, I guess. But don't worry about that. We'll delete that sample, actually. Okay. You'll just hit sample while the track is playing, the part you want. Take that little snippet of it. And then you got it up and down the keys. And so you, if you wanted to not have it up and down the keys, you should know how to do that by now. All right. So let's go over here. Deep, closer to desires at heart, heart of man or one man, whatever matches two things that bring desire, open eyes. I Same thing, let's say I just want to snatch my vocals off here and do something weird to them. Like choir singing higher notes and mids to dinners coming through with a perfect harmony. Solo, so we can hear just what we sample. Singing higher notes and mids to dinners. I know you know all that, reverse it or whatever, you know. <laughs> Which is a double trick, throw your reverb on it. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you that one if you don't know it. It's nice, especially for singers. Pac did it all the time on his vocals, and Ozzy Osbourne, and a lot of rock and roll guys. As you go down through the, it's, it's supposed to be the coldest effect because it's putting an effect on something before it happens. Preverb. Uh, now, <laughs> let me get back to it. All right, so let's just hit save on like it. This city, something. Stop that. That solo. I know I move fast, but I can't move slower if I'm trying to. The more information and the amount of minutes is what I'm trying to give you people. Understand? All right. There it is. Now it's on the keys. Let's turn it up some. Right here. Smash. And so you get it. Take the whole track. Take parts of the track or whatever. You know, take... And uh, sample one little section of the track, maybe four bars. Take it, screw it down, right? Take everything out of the rest of the track away. The tape stop thing, kind of like that. But down here in the south, we do screw. If you want to figure out how to screw your words, that's a beautiful way to screw your words. Taking one phrase and lay, leave your original there if you want to, and just throw the screw version under it, and then that way you won't never lose the 
continuity, if you want to call it that, trying to chop that one little word out. And You see what I'm saying? All right, holla to peace to the universe. Call, holla to the live, rate, and subscribe. Enter sampling. I always hit stop.